Really impressive performance there by Juventus. And I'm joined here at their training ground by the woman who scored two of those goals, Eni Aluko. Hello. Hi, Claire. How are you settling in here? It's been, what, eight months or so now? Yes, it's been eight months. I came here in July. Um, settled in pretty quickly, actually. The, the team are very welcoming. Everything I wanted it to be, expected it to be, it's been. So I'm really happy. It's clearly suiting you well. You're, you're playing well. You're scoring plenty of goals. For, for you, what's the difference here to either the UK or indeed America? where you've played? I think that, that it's a lot more tactical here. I think for me as a quick player, I've had to adapt my game. There's a lot less vertical play, a lot less direct play. It's a lot more indirect, a lot more tactical, a lot of play through the midfield. It's certainly been a very successful time for the club since you've been yeah. here. Is that part of the draw? It's such an iconic name. This is like going to Chelsea or, or Manchester United. Right, exactly. I mean, I very much wanted to be part of a bigger club that could replicate that in the women's game. You know, clubs are brands now. Having women's teams within that structure, I think, is really important. You know, Juventus women's team is new. I wanted to be part of that growth. And if you've seen, you know, 39,000 people turned up to watch us two weeks ago. I'm not sure that would happen if we weren't part of Juventus. And it does seem that there is this big role. You, you know, we're, we're seeing record crowds across Europe. Yeah. We're seeing, for example, in Mexico, their women's match has been really well attended as well. It, it's, it's happening. And once it starts happening this fast, it's going to grow exponentially. I mean, the World Cup this summer is going to be huge, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think I think whenever women's football over the past five years, particularly since the Olympics, has been put on a big stage, we've seen the appetite of fans, we've seen the broadcasters be surprised at how many people are watching on TV. Is it idealistic of me to believe that there are ways in which women's football can show how men's football could improve? And yeah. there isn't that same tribal tension in the crowd? No, I definitely think that it, it's a different game. It has a different feel to it. It's a family-orientated kind of feeling, and I think that's where we've got an advantage, actually, because I'm at, you know many people, I know many people who don't take their kids to games because of the swearing, because of sometimes the racism. And on that subject of racism, what, in your opinion, does football as a sport need to do to stamp it out? Well, I think the conversation actually about racism against players is, is getting a little bit old. I think everyone knows it's there. Everyone knows how the players feel about it. There's not enough conversation around what the authorities are doing, for example, to make these sanctions more consistent. So I think that the solution really is, is to do what is done in Eastern Europe, close the stadium. Then I think fans will start making other fans accountable in the stadium and go, well, why should I not come to the game because of you? Mm. That's when it starts getting take, taken more seriously. Because I think at the moment we're talking so much about the problem and not the cure. I think that needs to be the focus now. Yeah, I think you're spot on, wise as ever. Good luck. Thank I hope you, you win Claire. the league. So good to see Lovely you. Lovely to see you again. Uh, Thanks thank so you. much to Annie Luca.